Hi, I'm Peter Chen. You've seen me in such fine quality, epic chemistry educational videos as electroplating, what's electricity got to do with it, and zinc plating on copper? How could it be? All right, guys. This uh, is a part of electrochemistry, the last uh, chapter to be covered in AP Chemistry, where now we're going to actually use some stoichiometry to figure out if you run a certain amount of current over a period of time, okay, how many grams of a metal are we going to be able to plate? Now, some people might say, well, wait a minute, where does the electroplating happen in the real world? And I kind of made it an emphasis in my classes to talk about the real world in terms of making the connections. So in this case here, I've got a couple of my keys, all right, and I'm gonna show those to you right now. And you may notice that the color of those keys themselves, you may notice that uh, on one layer, it looks silver, and the other layer kind of looks like brass of some sort. Well, that silver, I guess they call it silver, that is what's electroplated onto the brass. But how in the world do they do this electroplating? Well, this is not a galvanic cell reaction. This is an electrolytic cell reaction. Okay, so we're forcing the reaction to happen. So this is a non-spontaneous reaction that we've got going here. So we're going to do an example. There's a couple of things that we need to look at here. One, we got to look at the current. Now, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, the current is amperage. Okay, and the amperage is equal to the total charge, which is in coulombs, divided by the time that is taken, okay? So we're looking at the total charge over the time that has been taken, the total charge being coulombs. Now, here's another thing though. Great, we got coulombs, we got time. But where do the electrons fit in all of this? Well, there was a guy named Faraday who somehow came up with a constant. And what he said was approximately for every mole of electrons that you're going to have, it's going to take 96,500 coulombs. Technically, 96,486 point. But for our purposes here, for AP Chem, we're going to go with 96,500. Okay, we're going to go with that purpose. All right, so here's our problem. Okay, our problem, now as we move up, our problem is we have a current of two and a half amperes is run through a solution of iron three chloride for 15 minutes. So how much iron is actually going to be plated out? Okay, so we have some things here we need to look at. One, we have to look at iron three chloride. Now what would the iron three chloride look like? Well, if you look at the Roman numeral, and that's the key thing, that's an iron with a three plus charge to it. So how many electrons is it going to take to take care of that iron? Well, it's gonna take three, correct? Because the formula for iron three chloride is FeCl3. So the iron's gonna need a plus three charge. That's gonna be its oxidation number, which means if we have a mole of iron three plus atoms running loose, how many moles of electrons are we going to need in order to reduce, remember, gaining electrons is reduction, reduce the iron ions into solid iron that maybe Tony Stark will need? Okay, that would be the question. Well, in this case here, for every one mole of iron three plus, we are going to need three moles of electrons. Now, now that we got this, let's see what we can do here in terms of setting up a problem. Well, okay, well, there's gonna be some stoichiometry involved here. So first off, they gave us a duration of 15 minutes. Okay, now in that process, ladies and gentlemen, we have our current. Now our current in this case here is two and a half amperes or 2.5 coulombs for every one minute, okay? 
So now we figured out how many coulombs that we're going to have total. Now, remember, for the coulombs total, now we've got to figure out how many moles of electrons are going to be affected by this. Okay, well, the way it works is for, we've got to multiply by one mole of electrons for every 96,500 coulombs. That's what we have. Okay, now, in the process, we also have... So now we can figure out how many moles of electrons are being moved here with this electroplating because 15 minutes at 2.5 coulombs per minute. For every mole of electrons, we have 96,500 coulombs that takes up a mole of electrons. Now the thing comes down to is for every one mole of this iron with the 3 plus charge to it because it's iron 3, there's going to be 3 moles of electrons, okay? Now, we get through this, and what do we come out with? Well, here's the thing. We come out with how many moles of iron are going to be plated out. That's what we're going to have because our minutes will cancel out, our coulombs will cancel out, and our moles of electrons will be canceled out. So now it's a stoichiometry problem. How many grams of iron 3 are going to be plated out? Here's our one mole of iron 3, or however many moles of iron 3 we're going to get. If we're going, this is a basic stoichiometry problem, which there is a video for that if you need to look that up as a refresher. Going from moles to grams, you multiply. Hey, great, but what are we multiplying by? Aha, that's the trick. The trick, ladies and gentlemen, is that we would multiply one for every one mole of iron, it's going to be 55.85 grams to one mole of iron. That's what we have, ladies and gentlemen. 55 grams, 55.85 grams, I'm sorry, for one mole of iron. Now, Let's check this out. Does everything cancel out? Because this is where you know that you're setting it up right. The minutes go away. Fantastic. The coulombs go away. Alrighty. Moles of electrons go away. So far so good. Moles of iron goes away. And we are left with grams, which is the main point of the problem. We're looking at how much iron is going to be plated. Now we can sit there and multiply this across. Now I'm not going to go through that process. I've already figured it out here, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what? For our final answer, here it is. 7.23 times 10 to the negative 3 grams of iron that is plated. This is it. 7.23 times 10 to the third grams of iron that has been plated within 15 minutes of running a two and a half ampere current. What can I say? Whoop! We figured it out. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the idea behind electroplating. It's an electrolytic process. You have to add electricity to it. We have to take into account how much current are we putting in which is amperage, okay? And that's going to be two and a half, in this case here, the duration of 15 minutes, two and a half amperes, or two and a half coulombs per minute. Then we had to look at 96,500 coulombs will affect one mole of electrons. That's the charge of one mole of electrons. We know that for one mole of iron three, it takes three moles of electrons. Then, to figure out the actual mass of the iron that's now plated out, once we figure out the moles of iron, we change to grams by multiplying grams per mole. And the units cancel out, and we end up with a mass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this one uh, helps you out. Until then, take care for the next time. Hasta!